Hello friends, this video Real Numbers Part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched Real Numbers Part 1 to Part 3. We'll take one more example where we use this algorithm. So we have to prove that any positive odd integer. This is positive. This is odd. And this is integer. So I'm talking about positive odd integer. I am talking about numbers such as 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Why? Because positive. We are not taking negative part. And also we are talking only about odd integer. So these are the numbers we have talking about. No, now the question is for any positive integer is of form 6q plus 1, 6q plus 3, 6q plus 5, where q is the integer. That is what we have to do. So to, to prove, let assume that let a b any positive integer now let's say a b any positive integer right since a is any positive integer and let's suppose b is 6 p is 6 i'll assume because it's all cq form so here please note why we have assumed b is equal to 6 because the question says 6q plus 1 6q plus 3 6q plus 5 if the question says 3q plus 1 3q plus 2 we would have taken b is equal to 3 depending on the question we take the value of b this is a trick here. Since the question says 6q, 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 so if we take b is equal to 6. So now for any number, any number a and b, where b is equal to 6, I can write a is equal to b quotient plus r. This formula we know in the algorithm. So I can write b is equal to 6 output. I can write a is equal to 6q plus r. Correct? Using the formula. Also, I know that r will be greater than or equal to 0 and less than 6. There is a formula. Formula says any number a and b, I can write this form a is equal to b q plus r, where r is greater than 0 and less than equal to 6. Now the value of r, that means the value of r can be r can be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Possible algebra. So I can write a as nothing. I can write a as 6 q plus r. r is equal to 0, I'll say that becomes 6 q. Or I can write 6 q plus 1. r is equal to 1, I'll put here. Or 6q plus 2 I can write where r is equal to 2 or 6q plus 3 I can write r is equal to 3 or 6q plus 4 I can write or 6q plus 5 possible values of a 1 2 3 4 5 6 because r is always greater than 0 greater than equal to 0 and less than b and b is 6 here so this is the possible values of a now 6 I can write as 2 into 3 some constant correct so I can write 2 into 3. So each of 3 I write some constant. Or let me take now, let me take 3 key as some constant. Why I am doing this, I will show you. Let me assume that some k is equal to 3q. I will write here. k is equal to 3q. Let me assume this, some constant. This is some value because this q is constant. 3 is constant, so this is constant. So I can write a as nothing but 2k or 2k plus 1 because 6q is 2k or 2k plus 2 or 2k plus 3 or 2k plus 4 or 2k plus 5 correct now if you see this this is even this is odd this is even this is even this is odd this is even this is odd and this is also even why any number of 2k form is even any number of 2k plus 1 is form is odd 2k plus 2 is nothing but 2k form only because we can write 2 into k plus 1 actually this number also even this is odd this number i can write in this form 2 into k plus 2 correct this is even this number i can write 2 into k plus 1 this is also even but the question says positive odd integers so we took first positive integer so now we'll add the condition odd integer so we'll ignore this even number. We'll ignore this number. We'll ignore this number. So the number left we, ha we have is this, this, and this. This number is nothing but 6q plus 1, 6q plus 3, this number, or 6q plus 5. These are the three numbers left. That means we can say that any positive odd integer can be written in the form of 6q plus 1, 6q plus 3, and 6q plus 5. And that is what our question says. The question says that we have to prove that any positive odd number is of the form 6q plus 1, 6q plus 3 or 6q plus 3. Let's 
revise this question what we have done we have taken a be any positive integer please note a is any positive integer a is not any positive odd integer we have just taken any positive integer because we know the euclid formula for any positive integer and then we assume b is equal to 6 why b is equal to 6 because the question says 6q 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 now since a is equal to any number a positive number and b is equal to 6 we can use this formula that a is equal to bq plus r that is any number a and b can be written in this form a is equal to bq plus r where r is greater than 0 greater than or equal to 0 and less than equal to b less than b thus we got values of r to be 1 2 3 4 5 because b was 6 and thus we can say a is equal to 6q plus 0 or 6q plus 1 6q plus 2 6q plus 3 6q plus 4 6q plus 5 and then we found that we found that this number was even this was even this was even because this is nothing but 2 into q plus uh, 2 all even number 2 into some number and these three numbers 6q plus 1 6q plus 3 6q plus 5 are odd the question was asking for the odd number so we ignored the even part and we found the odd part let's take one more example an army contingent of 606 members is to march behind an army band of 32 members in a pair. The two groups are to march in the same number of columns. What is the maximum number of columns they can? So in this question, if you see one possible option is that every everybody is marking, um, doing a parade in the straight line. For example, all the 616 guys are standing in one queue. And then we have this is one, 616 people. And then we have this 32 people standing in a one queue. But if you see here, the number of columns made is one, only one column made. Second option is we get two queues. So here it will have uh, 313 each, 313 each. And then here you will have 16 each, correct? Because there are two queues now, one queue, one column and two columns, 16 each. The second option can be we can have uh, three. Can we try three? No, three is not possible because three is not factor of 32 and three is not factor of this. So what I'm looking for here is the question asks, what is the maximum number of columns? Case one, we got only one column, that is 616 and uh, 32. Case two, we got 16 here, 16, 16 each and 313 each. We can have more case also. But logically, if you do, it will be very difficult to find because sometimes the number is very big. So what we are doing here is, we are trying to find highest common factor. See, in the first case, one was a common factor between these and this. So we could ask the army to march in this form. We also found that 2 is a common factor between these two numbers 32 and 16. So we know that we can arrange in the uh, two columns also. So here we have to find what is the maximum common factor between these two. So the maximum common factor is the, the factor in which we can ask the army to march. And that will be the maximum number of columns. Because the question asks, we want to find the maximum number of columns. Try to understand the question. The question says, there are 616 RB people, they are marching and they want to march behind 32 members team. And they want to make sure that the maximum number of columns is there. You can have one column where everybody is walking in a queue. You can have two columns where there are 16, uh, 16, 16 each in uh, first column and 313 each in first column. But we are not sure that we can, is this the number or we can have any other number also. Because we are looking for the maximum number of columns. We tried 3, it is not working. If we try 4, 4 also may not work because 4 is not a factor of this. If you can see this, 4 is not a factor of this. So we have to find one number which is common factor to these values and that is maximum. And that term is called highest common factor. So here what we have to do, we have to just find the HCF. Correct? So in a way, question is asking us to find HCF. That's it. So let's find the HCF. So HCF of 6, 1, 6 and 32. If you have any issues understanding the problem, please go through the video again and try to understand because you should understand why we are trying to find SCF. That is very, very critical. Once you understand why we are trying to find SCF, it is very simple to find SCF. Let's apply the formula. Here the question says there are two armies, 616 members and 32 members and we are asked to arrange them in such way that the column is maximum. First was we could, we could have arranged in the column one only where everybody was standing in the queue. But here we are not getting the maximum column. Second we tried to arrange them in the column two. Two columns, 16 each. 
we were able to do, but we are still not sure where the column is maximum or not. We tried for three, but we could not because three is not the common factor. We tried for four, four we can try, I think four works. So this four we tried, this becomes uh, eight, eight each, eight each, eight, 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 four. And this becomes four, you divide by four, one, six, what do you get? One, one, zero, four. So here you get one, zero, four each. Correct. This is three, zero, eight, actually. This is one, fifty, four, actually. Six, one, six by one, fifty, four. Yeah. So we can do in this way also. We have four columns are there. But we are not sure about the maximum columns we can do. We can try hit and drill, we can keep on doing that, but that will take a longer way. So the question here says that we have to find the common factor which is the maximum common factor. Here one was common factor, two was common factor, four was common factor. So we could have arranged in this form. Three was not the common factor, so we, we are not able to arrange in three columns. So the question says we are looking for the highest common factor. So let's find highest common factor of 6, 1, 6 and 3, 1. So we have to find SCF of 3.2 and 6.6. So let's divide 32 by 6.16. What we get is 19, I think. And 19, this is 6.08. We get 8 here. Again, 8 is not 0, so we'll divide by 32. So what we get? 8 into 4 is 32. And this is 0. Since it is 0, we know that 8 is the SCF. So SCF is 8. So we can very well say that we can ask this army to stand in the column of 8. Right? So if you ask them to stand in the column of 8, this first guy first this parrot will get 8 divided by 32 divided by 8 is 4 so 4 people will be standing here this will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and in this case if you divide 8 by uh, 6 1 6 i think what you get 8 7 the 56 56 77 so you'll get 77 each 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so 77 people will be marching in this form so you get the maximum of 8 column maximum possible because 8 is the maximum common factor between 606 and 32. So what the question says, question was asking us to find the SCF and we found that. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.